Our lifestyle causes our diseases. Japanese surgeon Hiromi Shinya on harmful habits. When I see friends my age, I can immediately guess how they live. Some have aged prematurely, while others, even with more years behind them, look younger. Our outward appearance reveals a lot because our bodies cannot lie. They show exactly how we live, what we eat, and what we care about, explains Japanese surgeon Hiromi Shinya. It may be surprising, but he says he has never signed a death certificate for any of his patients. Over his career, he has dealt with countless diseases, including difficult ones such as colon cancer, yet never lost a patient. He credits this luck to one simple fact. Many health problems come from a poor lifestyle. Rather than only treating symptoms, he focuses on the root causes, urging patients to make changes for the better. Dr. Hiromi sets out a few basic guidelines so he can manage his own body. These same guidelines are what he teaches his patients. When it comes to many so-called age-related illnesses, it isn't age itself that is the culprit, but our eating habits. Unfortunately, few doctors are interested in what their patients like to eat. That is why many colleagues say certain diseases arise from unknown causes. But if you investigate people's diets, that unknown cause becomes obvious, Dr. Hiromi says. He believes our health heavily depends on the foods we choose each day. We make a daily choice between bad and good foods, and that choice often has serious effects on our health. So which foods count as definitely unhealthy and which are acceptable? According to Shinya, there is a ranking of foods that seriously harm people. Topping that list are meat products. Next comes store-bought milk, which he believes is full of oxidized fats that are dangerous to the body. Margarine is also not a healthy choice, he says. After studying countless patient files and their diets, Shinya reached a once surprising conclusion. The earlier in life people eat meat regularly, the sooner their health problems begin. From his perspective, there is an optimal level of animal-based foods, about 15% of one's total diet. At least half should be grains, with the rest being fruits and vegetables. He also calls for daily grain consumption. He says raw foods bring extra benefits, while fried foods are the most dangerous of all. People should reduce fried items drastically if they wish to stay healthy and cut them out completely if they are already ill. If you do eat something fried, chew it thoroughly so it is well coated with saliva, easing the burden of trans fats on the body. For drinking, Dr. Hiromi recommends only herbal teas and plain water consumed at least 30 minutes before a meal to avoid disturbing digestion. I drink up to 700 milliliters of water in the morning on an empty stomach, another 500 milliliters half an hour before lunch, and the same before dinner. In winter, I warm it a bit, sipping it slowly, he notes. Many doctors today are sicker than their own patients. I know colleagues with diabetes or other serious issues. It seems they have no idea about real health, disease prevention, or proper diet. So why rely on them alone? That is why I advise you to take responsibility for your own life, Dr. Hiromi clarifies. Protection against deadly diseases. Besides a poor diet, a whole range of negative emotions can harm health. True self-care, Shinya says, involves not only nourishing the body, but also embracing a healthy, positive view of life. Merely prescribing the right treatment is not enough for healing. Restoring someone's hope is more important, he explains. Many times, Shinya witnessed patients recover once they found a new purpose in life. This renewed sense of direction triggers a surge of energy, which can even help push back serious illness. Shinya believes stress and hopelessness can disrupt healthy digestion. A person who is constantly anxious often sees their eating habits worsen, leading to even more inflammation. On the other hand, a calm or hopeful mindset tends to help the body break down food more efficiently, preventing harmful toxins from building up. This balance between positive emotions and good nutrition forms the backbone of Shinya's approach. Physical health is inseparable from mental well-being. 
Crucially, one can discover life goals at any age. Most people never fully tap into their potential, yet that potential is limitless. Once someone begins unlocking it, they may bounce back from the brink, not just powered by enthusiasm, but also fully supported by their body. There are many ways to uncover your potential. One of the most powerful is love, Shinya explains. The source of health and happiness is love. Some might say, why bother making changes since we are all headed toward death from the moment we are born? Yet we can travel that path at different speeds. Some who ignore their well-being die in their 50s, while others pace themselves, living well beyond 100. To do that, you must care for both your physical and spiritual needs, all while enjoying life with the people you cherish. Love, whether for parents and children, partners or grandchildren, makes no difference. Love improves life. As a doctor, I see that love sets off positive changes in the human body. If a patient longs to watch their children and grandchildren grow up, their illness often recedes, Shinya says. The surprising link between your gut and long life. Many people say most diseases begin in your gut. It might sound like an exaggeration, but over recent years, scientists have discovered some remarkable facts about the human gut. Countless doctors worldwide now connect longevity to gut health, believing the secret to living a long, active life is right there in your digestive system. One shining example is Japanese Dr. Shigeaki Hinohara, who lived to the impressive age of 105. Not only did he reach this milestone, but he continued treating patients even after turning 100. Incredible, right? Your gut does much more than break down food. Beyond digesting and absorbing nutrients, it influences many of your body's key areas, including your immune system and mental health. According to doctors like Dr. Hinohara, a large number of diseases begin in the gut. It has an independent network of over 100 million nerve cells called the enteric nervous system, which works without needing your brain's help. That's why some scientists call it a second brain. This second brain manages digestion and produces mood-boosting chemicals such as serotonin. In fact, about 90% of the body's serotonin is made in the gut. Researchers have also discovered that your gut and brain communicate through a process known as the gut-brain axis. This connection can shape your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. A Harvard study, for example, linked conditions like irritable bowel syndrome to stress and anxiety. This highlights just how much your mood and gut are tied together. Your gut is also crucial for immune protection, housing about 70% of your body's immune cells. These cells defend against harmful invaders like viruses and bacteria. In addition, your gut manages the microbiota, tiny organisms that keep you healthy. When this microbiota becomes unbalanced or dysbiotic, you're at greater risk for allergies, autoimmune disorders, and other illnesses. A Stanford University study found that gut bacteria imbalances can lead to diseases such as diabetes, obesity, heart issues, and even cancer. Meanwhile, research published in Nature revealed that gut health may play a role in brain illnesses like Alzheimer's. These findings underscore why a healthy gut is so important for overall health. With his many years of experience, Dr. Hinohara recognized that good gut health plays a huge role in overall well-being, especially for staying energetic later in life. He was convinced that a healthy gut was the key to strong, lasting vitality. That is why he emphasized proper digestion, which helps the body absorb essential nutrients and avoid gut-related health concerns like constipation. His advice was always to support the gut, because a well-functioning digestive system keeps the entire body running smoothly. To accomplish this, he recommended a diet filled with fiber-rich foods such as fresh vegetables, whole grains, and fruits. Fiber helps your gut operate more efficiently. He also favored eating light meals, focusing on foods that are easy to digest especially for older adults. Hinohara avoided heavy foods like excess red meat, which can overload the digestive system. 
Instead, he highlighted fish and fresh vegetables, both easier for your gut to handle. On top of that, he promoted regular exercise. Getting up and moving stimulates the gut, warding off issues like constipation that can undermine your health. Thank you so much for being here today. If you think this content could help others, please share it now with as many friends and family members as possible. I'm sure this lesson could improve their health too. See you in the next video. Take care and stay healthy.